you can dish out punishment like nobody's business, but you know what would be downright scary and totally mind-blowing? Imagine if you also showed the world that you're just as tough as nails and can take it too! That's the kind of stuff that would leave everyone's jaw on the floor. Oh my god, you should totally have a last woman standing match against Ivy Nile! Ready to leave a wake of pain and devastation. It's Hap! The following contest is a last woman standing match. Making her way to the ring from Newcastle upon Tyne, England. Ugh. Cap has proven herself to be one of the most brutal superstars in WWE history. Is anyone going to stand up to this bully? Not if they know what's good for him, Saxton. Do you want to make her mad? I sure don't. A lesson in brutality is about to be taught. The Pitbull has been released. And representing the Creed Brothers from Knoxville, Tennessee, Ivy Nile. An endless supply of strength and determination. As tenacious and vicious as they come. Yeah, Ivy Nile's bite is much worse than her bark. Yeah, but her teeth are sharpened and she's looking for a win. This may be cliche, but Ivy Nile proves it's not the size of the dog in the fight, but the fight in the dog. Here we go, folks. The last woman standing match is all about pushing your limits mentally and physically. I'd take a mental beat down over a physical one any day. I'm used to those. It's like any night working with you, Saxton. Oh, thanks, Corey. I enjoyed the years we spent together, too. Ouch. Makes it incredibly difficult to walk. You can see that each strike drained their opponent's energy. Sweep the leg. She turns it right around with a counter. She has bad intentions for that chair. If you're going to grab a kendo stick, you better be prepared to use it. Battling at ringside can be very unforgiving. You have to be careful out there. No protection out here. No safe confines to speak of. The amount of force behind that is enough to knock a normal person out. Oh, great. Rearranging our ringside furniture here. Here in the announce desk. What a mess. Look out. What? No matter who you are, when you crash on the floor, a searing pain races through your body. Uh-oh, positioning her opponent on the announce desk. Taking things to another level now. Suplex from the announce desk onto the floor. Taking a chance one more time and landing with incredible impact. <laughs> Held in a perilous position. Uh-oh. No! Lights out face first. A collision like that could mark a turning point for this entire match. Hope you boys put your running shoes on. It might be time to clear out. A steady stream of moves taking out Nile. Ivy has to find a way to turn things around. Any one of these attacks could cause irreparable damage, but I don't think you can cut back from this many. And you never want to count a competitor out, but there seems to be no signs of defense right now. And look 
look at her feeding off the WWE Universe's energy. Count still climbing. We're up to seven now. Whoa! This fight is going down right in front of our faces. More up close and personal than I'd like to be. She throws her back in. Oh, impressive counter. Hold on a second. Could be a matter of time. Submission being locked in. Well, this isn't going to win the fall, but it's going to do a lot of damage. She does break out of it, but has the damage been done? Shot to the body, now has the arm trapped. Pump handle position. Oh. And they call that the better end. Does that finish Ivy off? Three. This one is headed outside, guys. The steel chair never as innocent as it looks. A count of seven. Is this really it? And this is as much a dare as it is a state. All right, snapping her back to reality. This isn't a pose off. Here is your winner. Yeah. Ivy Nile suffering a loss here. This one was tough for Ivy Nile. She just couldn't overcome this fight. I've seen my share of brutality during my time in the square circle, but you take it to a whole new level. <laughs> Impressive stuff. But a little wisdom from an old timer. People will start to see you as the one to take out to prove themselves. If you want to send a message, take out a newbie in the PC. Baseball bats, no DQ, really lay it on. Trust me, everyone will think twice before stepping up to you. Yeah. <laughs>
there she is, my favorite superstar! What now? First off, love this energy. Tough, no nonsense, brutal. It's working. Secondly, how would you feel if I said Minneapolis, money in the bank, you, Piper Niven, in the ring, making magic happen? What's the catch? No catch. I just think we should reward a superstar who has earned a big opportunity with the big stage. Then why are you sweating? Okay, fine. You want the truth? You terrify me. These days, whenever I'm within about 20 feet of you, I just naturally and instinctively clench. So I thought, maybe if you had a reason to like me, it would make it less likely that you'd take out all your inner turmoil on my outer face. Plus, you deserve it. Truly. So what do you think? Money in the bank? <laughs> I should have struck fear into your heart earlier. I want the match. Great. It'll be great. Cap is where it's at. So we're good, right? As long as you stop sniveling. I... We'll try. Hey, there she is. Uh, I, I want you to remember that I am just the messenger. Of what message? That due to events outside of my control that had absolutely nothing to do with me, your match here at Money in the Bank has been canceled. Don't hurt me. Why wouldn't I? I came here to break Piper Niven in a match that you personally offered me. If I'm here, I'm breaking someone, Troy. Again, not my fault. Extenuating circumstances. Since we're in her hometown of Minneapolis, Molly Holly wants to have a comeback match tonight. We couldn't say no and had to bump another match from the show. It's really, when you think about it, a geographical Minneapolis problem. Which means if you're mad, it should only be at the Earth itself. Or Molly Holly. Yeah, sure. Her too. Definitely not Troy. Just remember that in a situation like this, my hands are tied. We've got a last minute change making a big night even bigger as Money in the Bank is also homecoming night here in Minneapolis for legend and three-time champion Molly Holly. Everyone loves a homecoming, everyone loves a comeback. And for these fans to get both those things in one, what the hell? What was that all about? Can we get some help out here? Don't you look awfully proud of yourself. I would have been happy to do my fighting in the ring. It wasn't my decision to take that option away. Ugh, this is exactly the kind of free-for-all indie nonsense I tried to beat out of you back in the PC. <laughs> Guess you're not as good of a mentor as you thought you were. Are you under the impression this attitude is going to help you? The only impression I'm under is that I deserve a seat at the table. And if WWE management wants to kowtow to some decrepit dinosaur parading around like she still has a place in the ring, I'm happy to show that dinosaur the door. I assure you, Molly Holly is very anxious to show you just how much of a place she still has in the ring. And despite my own history with her, so am I. Fine. 
Why don't I grab Rhea Ripley and we make it a foursome? She and I can kill two old birds with one stone. Huh, we'll see. Those two old birds will be very happy to wipe that smug smile off your face. See you in the ring. They're here! The following contest is a tag team match set for one fall. On the way to the ring, Ugh! and Rhea Ripley. Just look at her. Cap doesn't walk. She kicks the earth like it owes her money. She's a role model. She's a force of brutality and intimidation who stabs her friends in the back, Corey. A lesson in brutality is about to be taught. was announced the WWE Universe has expected a classic. I think it is destined to deliver. A competitor who is always laser focused on the competition. I expect big things from her tonight. One of the best women's competitors in history. And from Forest Lake, Minnesota, Molly Holly. An extremely sweet woman, but tough as nails in the ring. Oh, this is going to be good. Molly Holly about to beat some sense into the women's division. Molly Holly and Justine facing off against Cap and Rhea Ripley in a classic tag team encounter. Yeah, only because Cap hasn't been able to rattle any other legends just yet. Turning two Hall of Famers against you in as many weeks, like her or not, you have to admit that's impressive. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. Oh, a wicked kick to the lower back. Quick thinking pays off. And here come the punches. Nothing was being held back with each of those strikes. Oh, what a forearm. Impressive reversal there. Short jab. It's raining down those shots to the back of the neck. Here's the cover. The referee clearly noticed she was on the ropes. Oh, she fights Justine back. Leg sweep takedown. Zenton hits the target. Set up in the corner of the ring. Good tag. Boom! 
Man. shot right to the midsection. It's got to be demoralizing when you're the combatant on the wrong side of the double team. Maybe you want to rework the game plan about now. Oh, Ripley put a stop to that. Uh-oh. Good defense. Another reversal. Eye for an eye here. Arm ringer in control. Now starts to fight out with some punches to the gut. She avoids the contact. Uh-oh. We're gonna see it. Power. Sit down, power bomb. That power bomb was absolutely worthy of both halves of its name. And Rhea is revving this crowd up. Mounting a downed opponent, and look at them go over and over and over again. Oof. And a slap, too. And with an onslaught of strikes like that, it's clear they have nothing but punishment on their mind. Turnbuckle's the only thing keeping her upright. Oh, straight forearm. Now a series of vicious outs in the turnbuckle. Stumps. Rhea's taking the advantage here. And the upper hand belongs to Rhea Ripley. Scooped up and down. Reaches her partner. Tag. Just in time. Nice scoop slam. Trapping the wrist. Double impact. This is likely going to have adverse effects on her. She's only aggravating her competition at this point. Into a sidewalk slam. Oh, man, a little extra luster behind that kick. Oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. And she's in off the tag. Into the corner. This can't be good. Big boot. Jeez. The communication between these two is evident by that move. As the leg trap, fisherman suplex. She's got her in her sights. Up high. Oh, right to the face. Oh, my God. Oh, and a backbreaker. Right to the spine. You can't take much more of this. Yeah, she is in a rough spot now. Fly backbreaker. A boom! Oh, oh, swept the leg right out from under. Molly Holly is having problems here. Holly has to gather the energy. Shot to the body now has the arm trapped. Pump handle position. Oh, oh better in. Justine with a cause for concern. That's gotta be it. Two count. Amazing. It was almost all for her. It does not get much closer to three than that. Is there still enough time to try that maneuver again? Or is her confidence shaken? Driving the face down. Everyone needs to get out of the way of this fight. This feels so unsafe. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. Don't come over here. Cole, quick. You sacked into the human shield. She's feeling the hurt here. Justine possibly testing the limits of her opposition. Cuts off their offense with a swift elbow to the gut. She's pushed into the corner. Oh, man. Oh, the physicality on display there. Unbelievable. Good timing with that reversal. Nice suplex. Off the ropes. Oh, what a knee strike. Measured knee drop. A handstand, and now using his foot to his advantage. Oh, look at this ruthlessness in the bottom turnbuckle. Oh, 
There's a tag. Oh, man. Shot right to the midsection. German suplex. Rhea Ripley can kill with a smile and wound with her eyes. She needs to stop saying she's going to bring it and actually deliver on the promise. Throws her back in from ringside. Ooh, that'll mess up your shoulder. She had it scouted. Ooh, and a big uppercut. Plenty of hits coming her way now. Justine is certainly raising the intensity. Oh, my God. That's mounted with punches. And not in a Ooh. Hope being ended here. The count was stopped before it started. Still in it. What a gutsy performance. Oh, well, that'll weaken your arm. Fought back with a punch to the gut. Boom, what a roundhouse. Ripley not backing down and letting her know it. Got out of that situation and avoids any harm. Quick take down there. Mounting a downed opponent. Look at them go over and over and over again. And a slap, too. Ripley has her sights set on her opponent now. Lights out here. Oh, no, maybe not. She fights her shoulder up before one. Looks like there's some more fight left in her. One, two. Into the corner now. Ooh. Oh, she fights Justine back. Close line. Just ended this. Two. What a performance and what a win. Here are your winners. Rhea Ripley and Ugh. This pairing pain. Strong dividends with an impressive tag team win. Perfect chemistry between these women. I see many more wins in the future for this pairing. Tonight, I proved a point about who still has a place in WWE. Ever since I stepped foot here, I've been bombarded with endless praise for the so-called legends. We love them. We adore them. We hold banquets in their honor. <laughs> but at some point, every banquet has to end. And yet, there are some legends here in WWE, who refused to get up from the table. They finished their meal, had some dessert, polished off a cup of coffee or two, even paid the bill. Do they care that others are waiting for their chance to sit down? Do they care that the staff wants to leave? No, they just sit there blissfully unaware of everything going on around them. These rotten relics don't even know. What the heck? Beth Phoenix couldn't stand any more of the disrespect. It looks like Beth wants to settle this right now. When the action takes place behind the scenes, anything goes. Forklifts, lockers, check. These two are clearly fired up, going blow for blow. It looks like we've got ourselves a brawl here. Giving up now is not an option. They have to finish this. Ooh. 
This is a war of attrition with neither superstar wanting to be the one who surrenders. Ooh! Who will break first? That is the question. Ooh! And oh my God, what a forearm! Right to the jaw. Oh. Yokes up their opponent. Sidewalk slam delivered. to interrupt the attack. Whatever's playing here can't be good. Oh, my gosh! She's looking highly motivated, getting hyped up. Oh, what a four. Setting up for something here. Delivering a series of sharp elbows. Ah, oh, best caught by the counter. She's pumping herself up, reaching out for that burst of energy. Well, she made it. Now what? Cutting her off there. Smart strategy. And gentlemen, I've seen a lot of movies with scenes on a catwalk. Spoiler alert, they usually end in catastrophe. Oh, I hope Beth Phoenix displaying that power. Look at her opponent. The accordion rack is in. I'm going to tap out here, but it ain't going to matter. They still do a lot of damage, though. She's in trouble. And that's one way out of it. When in doubt, try to knock your opponent's block off. And remember, guys, this is a loading dock area. This isn't built with any safety precautions in mind. Say what you mean, Cole. No one's supposed to be up there. And she's using... Ooh, she'd had enough of that. Brutal forearm. And this backstage area is in danger of being torn apart if this continues any further. Oh, say goodbye to her... No, are you kidding me? And now it looks like they're done. Done for now, but I have a feeling this isn't over, Cole. You just gotta help stir in the pot, can you? I'm just fighting for what's mine. That wasn't a criticism. Just remember, you're facing someone who's forgotten more about wrestling than half the roster's ever known. Now that you've got her angry, make sure you finish the job. Not gonna be a problem. I'm gonna make her dream of retirement. Yeah. Show the glamour's on, it's time for her to get glamour gone. <laughs> Good one. And that's the plan. It's Cap here to unleash her wrath upon the ring. The following is a tables match. Making her way to the ring. From Newcastle upon Tyne, England. Ugh. Just look at her. Cap doesn't walk. She kicks the earth like it owes her money. She's a role model. 
She's a force of brutality and intimidation who stabs her friends in the back, Corey. A lesson in brutality is about to be taught. The Glamazon, one of the most dominant women in WWE history. Beth Phoenix looks poised for competition here tonight. And from Buffalo, New York, the Glamazon, Beth Phoenix. Well, the Glamazon looks to be in a bad mood. It is safe to say that the Glamazon has inspired generations of superstars here in WWE. I think it's safe to say that Beth Phoenix is no longer interested in inspiring. She just wants to reestablish dominance. She's also got bigger biceps than you, Saxton. Oh, wait, I haven't mentioned mine lately. A dominant champion, the youngest WWE Hall of Famer in history, and the Glamazon isn't done yet. Beth Phoenix has left a real mark on this industry, and I wouldn't be surprised if she used a table to leave a real mark on Cap's face in tonight's tables match. Hey, if someone's not gonna pass the torch, you're well within your rights to snuff it out. Looks like a battle between tradition and progress in the ring and here at the commentary table. Set up in the corner. So to the stomach. So ruthless. And Phoenix is being broken down. Looks like Beth is having trouble generating any sort of defense. Oh, and Beth fights back. Yeah, Phoenix getting some newly determined focus. Alabama slam. That was all sorts of nasty. That just reverberated throughout the entire building. Talk about making a statement. Oh, that surprises Beth. Forearm! Oh, that'll shatter your chest. Boom! Oh, quite an effective counter. Well-placed elbow to break up the maneuver. Springboard, springboard, kicked all the way through the rope to the floor. Look at this, you gotta be kidding me. That's finding any which way to topple the competition. Hurling your own body like that is insane. Oh, I took off the, uh, the hood of the announce table. Yeah, there go the monitors. Bad intentions in mind here. Come on, Byron, get in front of me. No, well, this is a warning to grab our stuff and go. Keep it in the ring, please. Saxton's a very fragile boy. Goes under the ropes to get back inside. Lariat! Things not going how she'd like. So far, this tables match has been just as brutal as we anticipated. Pulling him in for the backbreaker. Oh. Right to the lower back. And will the strain that it took to deliver that backbreaker be worth it? Yeah. Boom, nice. Fight is so close to our announce table. Yeah, I'm just gonna step aside now. Hey, wait for me! Blast off! Through the air! And connects! That's gravity taking a break before coming down like thunder. I oh, able to counter. Whip back into the ring. She's getting fired up, ready to show her opponent what she's got. And it looks like she wants to take this match outside. And returning to the ring. She's rummaging around under the ring here. Oh, wow. Things are about to get high risk 
and very painful. She will wisely return to the ring now. Oh, and Beth turns the tables. Poop to the stomach gives them separation. Boom! Slam! With authority. Compromised position here. The away slam. That's another focused attack to her torso area. Looks like she's setting it up for something, Byron. Yeah, but what? Big right hand, and this is not going to end well. Positioning their opponent. Avalanche Phantom Driver. And Beth can't stop any offense coming her way. Yeah, Phoenix needs to rethink her strategy fast. And what's she going to do with this table? Set up a buffet. What do you think she's going to do, Saxton? This is insane! She can't do this! Like the man once said, get the tables. On the way to the top of the ladder. Making her way up the ladder now. Absolutely no fear in her. Belly to back. Face buster. was unique. The situation is not looking good for Beth Phoenix. Yeah, she is not looking good right now. Small in the back. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. The power of the Glamazon. Beth Phoenix with a glam slam. And now the glam slam stretch. Is she going to tap out? This one, she can tap out all she wants. It's not going to put an end to the suffering. First. She goes back inside the ropes. You can almost see the gears turning in their head as they set up the table. Just, the official has to call it. Incredible how they were able to get all the way needed to debilitate the larger opponent. Going through the table like that adds salt to the wound of losing. It's never fun to lose, but the added pain of going through a table is insult to injury. Wow. I didn't expect Beth Phoenix to come up short here tonight.